Hello, thanks for watching again. Today I'm uh, just going to review something I've been working on. It's actually only about half done. Unfortunately, kind of common. <laughs> but um, uh, it's kind of a good stopping point for me to review, and I really wouldn't have any updates if I didn't do kind of a housey thing because this has taken me quite a bit of time with a little bit of failure. But, um,. I'll, I'll show you and walk you through what I'm working on right now and it's actually a good launching point if you want to take it now and, and go in a direction that um, you know something you want to work on. I'm about to kind of customize it for one particular thing but today I'm working with a um, pick clicker uh, little uh, pick it's a 18F 47J53 development board it's a microelectronica product and it has a GPS2 click sitting on top of this. Uh, the, the click board is, um, it's really just a development board sitting on their micro um, bus. It's, just, it's a neat little bus specification I guess that they have. It's just really just a bunch of pins sitting on some um, oh, uh, um, 2.54 millimeter uh, set of headers. Real neat idea if you want to use some development boards they have. You could easily put this on your own board and use these boards. You don't necessarily have to use theirs, but in this case, this pick clicker, uh, well, it's been a little bit of a pain. It's actually a nice board, and I'll, I'll go through that. I'm gonna um, bring you in now and kind of show you everything real close, and we'll walk through this all. So, here's my project right here. Uh, this is a GPS2 click development board that um, is just sitting on top of this little pick clicker develop, um, pick development board. Again, uses this micro bus. Uh, the micro, all of this stuff here is from Microelectronica. That's M I K R O E dot com. Um, just out of full disclosure, they actually gave me this GPS2 click board um, free of charge. And then uh, the guy was kind of joking with me because I had originally used one of their, um, well, actually, I guess it's this board here. I'll reach over. It's just a little perf board that they have. And I was plugging in and backwards. Maybe I thought it looked better that way, I guess. I don't know. But uh, anyhow. Uh, so he he just uh, shot me an email and it was actually quite funny and and um, they gave me this board which is nice and uh, they didn't just give me this board they let me pick any board and um, they have dozens of boards like it looks like just on their website over 50 all sorts of stuff and it was actually a really hard choice to pick this one in particular but I have a a guy I've been talking with overseas that it's having a problem. Um, well, he found my website by my WWVB um, little, you know, mock transmitter test, um, and he has a WWVB watch that he wants to synchronize, but of course, in their country, they they can't, uh, you know, they don't get reception from the the transmitter in Fort Collins, Colorado. So. He was asking me if it was possible to come up with something like I had to update his watch. And he was talking about NTP and and Raspberry Pis and you know, here's my Pi with that Toy Makers um, um board that I, I got, but you know, this is the last time I touched it. It was when I was playing with this this board and I just you know not I'm not great on the Pi yet. I really haven't put any time into it and is just not going to happen there. So I thought, okay, you know what? We'll do a GPS. That'll work out. So here it is. Um, it doesn't look very exciting, right? But um, there's the active antenna input here. Right now, all these clips here are all my um, logic analyzer sitting right here. This guy is just a. Um, so I think it's smart board. Yeah, it's a just an. Uh, TTL level to RS-232 and then this is the T uh, RS-232 to USB converter because uh, try finding a computer with a RS-232 port anymore. 
but um, I, this is just strictly to read the UPS data off of um, the pin here. Uh, really, I've been doing all my debugging with this uh, logic analyzer. I'm really excited for these guys uh, for their new logic one. I, I pre-ordered it. We'll see how when it shows up. It I can't. I don't. I think it's Sale is the company. Oh, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, anyways. And of course, this is my. Um, my Picket 3 for the programming. So I tried, I swear I tried in good faith to use their um, Micro C Pro compiler and then this thing actually has, when you get it, this, this board has a bootloader in it and I just, I don't know, I suck I guess. It, it's a little different than MP Lab X from Microchip um, and I could not get this thing <laughs> to trigger um, an interrupt off the receive buffer. I have no idea why. I put it out in the forms and I got some try putting the LED flasher. I did all that of course. I had to, you know, the the probe set up. I just couldn't figure it out. So I gave up on that. And I said goodbye Mr. Bootloader and I hooked up my pick kit 3 here directly to the, the pins and um, I just wrote it in uh, in MP Lab X with the XC8 C compiler. Still not super awesome at C, but I'm getting to be not bad. So that's fun. Um, and really, this whole thing was actually really easy to set up. The only difficult part was actually, again, because of this pick clicker, um, this microcontroller has two RS-232 ports on it, and one of them, they stuck the uh, part of, well anyways, the, the, there was some port configuration. So they used TX2, RX2 for the RS-232. And then you had to use the uh, peripheral port select, um, can, you know, IO port configuration to actually put the UART on, on some peripheral select pins, which was especially painful for me. I've never tried it before. Um, I muddled through it and I finally got it working. So now I have this thing, um, you know, I start it up and I get this GPS running in the code and then I have it, you know, um, start reading the UART data out of here. And um, I did a lot of other stuff but it boiled down to I just wanted to make sure I had a lock, and if I knew that I could read that I had a lock, and I'm reading all the data good, then I knew I could just pick up the the time and I would be solid. So right now I'm just reading my um, some of my GPS data, and this guy here, this little LED that I think you can see is on. If you can't, just trust me, it's on. That's actually my lock light, and if I unscrew this antenna, let me see if I can do it. Well, you can still see. No, nope, probably not. I'll try. So if I unscrew my little active antenna here, I'll lose lock. I lost it. And I'll plug it back in, and there it goes. It's back. So uh, this GPS to clipboard is actually really easy to set up. It's super awesome. It's not really noisy. I mean, it doesn't throw out a lot of garbage I don't need. So, uh, I like this board a lot. Um, yeah, and the Pick Clicker even is a really nice development board. Uh, I still like my other little development boards, but I tell you what, if I was starting out all over again and I had to learn C, I probably would have been a lot better off had I started out with these, um, rel any of the micro products because it, they just make learning C very easily. It's a little bit like, um, I hate to say it, but a little bit like Arduinos where everything's in libraries and it's much easier to use than just straight where I learned assembly and then from assembly I, I moved into C and C's always been an afterthought for me. I've never, I never started out with C so it's, uh, it's always a challenge for me getting my head wrapped around it. So that's it. This is this project. From here I just, um, put together a little code to, um, to put this out on the w, WVB, uh, you know, put it in that format for the time, and uh, it's really not a lot of work from here other than actually doing it, maybe packaging it in something that's easy. Um, coming next, oops, 
uh, as many of you may know, is I started a project with uh, another guy now, a, a, an acquaintance now, I guess, of over in, um, he's in the UK, and we started up, um, well, we pulled um, a website I wasn't using that I got generously generously donated because it was expiring, um, 0xee.net. And we're going to do, I guess it's going to be more like a pick tutorial. My my personal blog is more of a, what am I working on? I don't really care if you learn anything, ha, ha, ha. But, um, but I guess more of a pick tutorial. And he's working a lot with these 16F887s, just a 40-pin micro, um, on some of the micro product. And I'm going to start working with those. I'll probably do most of my stuff in XC8 or Assembler. And he's going to be working with the micro. And we'll try to develop some um, some fun things to do so that people can learn that stuff. Uh, we, we haven't gotten everything friendly tuned yet. Matter of fact, we've really only done a uh, Hello World and some introductory stuff on it. But... Um, as soon as we get some of that stuff up, it'll, it'll be up there in no time. Um, other than that, uh, one nice thing of actually doing this was I'll reach around here, smack the camera mount a little bit. I picked this up at a uh, ham fest here in, um, well, it was down in Puyallup, but South Seattle. And I, it was just a, a GPS antenna, and I was like, hey, that's neat. It was, I mean, nearly free. don't even remember what it was, but... It was kind of nice to be able to test that out and know that I didn't just pick up a turd. It's a marine GPS antenna, and it, that worked out well. Um, yeah, I guess I should also mention, it It was a little hard to use because I have my active antenna in my window seal right now, and so that thing's obviously pretty bulky. So that's it. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. This is a lot of fun. I'll, of course, throw up some source code on the blog. And once this is kind of done, maybe I'll do a little bit more and write it up for uh, our 0 xeenet site. But for now, it's kind of a, just an update of what I'm working on. If you have any questions, oh, feel free to uh, you know put them out there. Thanks. Bye.